You're watching Wave 3 News Listens Live. And it is a celebration. With your host, John Ramsey. And welcome into Wave 3 Listens Live. You can never overstate the importance of first impressions and specifically your smile. Cosmetically, you want to have a nice, bright, beautiful smile. And also for health reasons, there's so many reasons for you to be concerned about your teeth, your smile. And we have the answer for you. Freedom Mini Dental Implants. With me once again is Dr. Reagan Ackerman. Dr. Ackerman, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, before we get into what you do at Freedom Mini Dental Implants, I want to talk a little bit about something off script. You okay with this? Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Dr. Ackerman went on a trip with her family, and I'm like so jealous oh. because I hear about this experience a lot. Dude ranches. We did like a dude go, ranch. Going out west, yep. getting on a horse, herding cattle, all that good stuff. Yes. So you'd plan this for how long? Oh, probably for over six months. Yeah. My goodness. And, yeah. and you have you, your daughter, apparently, Elise, is like infatuated she with is horses. Horse crazy. She would live at the barn if we let her. So she loves horses, which is kind of what initiated this whole thing. So otherwise, I don't know if I'd do a dude ranch, but we had so much fun. It was great. So you so. were telling me that, the, you know, there's, there's other things to do, but they have different levels of, I guess, um, What's this way? Uh, you know, uh, horse riding. You can, right. You yeah. know, to advance, to you beginner. Can be a beginner, and yes. Yeah. So, of course, my daughter wanted to go as fast as she could <laughs> on the horse. So I was just trying to keep up and not fall off. Man, <laughs> so that is so it was I'm, fun. It was I'm cute. jealous. Yeah. Uh, you know, because I need uh, to get out of the box on vacation. So, we'll have to talk about this yeah, more yeah, perhaps awesome. another time. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your smile or your loved one's smile. Uh, perhaps they've struggled with their dentures for a long time. And wouldn't it be nice to be able to throw away your dentures and be through with all of that nasty glue? and uncomfortable and not able to eat the foods that you love because you're afraid you're gonna your dentures will loosen up all of these things are very very real and if you know someone who wears dentures or has a bridge or a missing tooth you know about the uh, challenges that I'm talking about so dr. Reagan Ackerman freedom mini dental implants that's what yeah. you do uh, we talk a lot about dentures but I would think a lot of your your clients that's their concern is how do I get rid of these things right majority of them want to get rid of a partial a denture or maybe they're m missing one tooth and they've been wearing what we call like a flipper if you have one, you know what I'm talking about because everybody hates their flipper. Um, so, yeah, we help a lot, a lot of denture patients, just like you said. People tired of using denture glue. They want the confidence to know they th can go out to eat at any restaurant, order what they want off the menu, and have that confidence that their denture is in nice and secure, not going to flop out on them, not worrying about if they're going to be talking and it's going to fall down on them. Um, but same thing with partial, single teeth, things like that. And the mini dental implants um, is just a much less invasive way of doing implants and a little bit easier and just gives people the confidence that, you know, your teeth are secure. Um, actually, I did an awesome case this morning. I got a lady and we threw her denture away and we did the permanent right. teeth, which I'll show you later. And she was just like, I feel my palate again, the roof of her mouth. She's like, I haven't felt that in so many years. So it's just really rewarding. Yeah, yeah, I, I would bet it is rewarding because I think a lot of people, if you're watching, maybe the reason why you or a loved one has been reluctant to get implants is because of the old method. First of all, it was expensive. It was very invasive. It was You had to visit a couple of surgeons. It was so involved. But with Freedom Mini Dental Implants, that's the good news. That's why the show has been so effective for you is because people Definitely. didn't know. It's less expensive. It's less invasive. It's a lot easier easier yeah. and it happens rather quickly right so this is good news this is a, equivalent to me it's like LASIK with eye surgery and and now things that have evolved to where why are you wearing your dentures any longer I mean most right. people don't exactly. they say don't they say I wish I'd have known about this definitely <laughs> and just like you said if you've had somebody's had dentures for years they probably haven't gone to the dentist in years and they don't know that this option is out there um, or a lot of people too um, have been told they needed sinus lifts or bone grafts kind of major surgery and it was expensive and they didn't want to go through that with the mini implants I don't have to do sinus lifts or bone grafts and things like that um, but kind of the biggest thing is like what you said a lot of people just haven't been back to the dentist and didn't know that this is an option now so, all right yeah. well before we start talking about exactly how this happens and the procedure itself let's take a look see at a before and after picture because I think mm -hmm. it's always fun yeah. this is uh, my this new is buddy Bruce, Bruce right yeah tell me Bruce. about Bruce um, so Bruce came in he's such a nice guy just easy going but obviously he wanted some teeth and he wanted to smile again and chew again um, he'd been struggling with you know some dentures and missing teeth and things like that um, so we did and I'll sh you know show the models later but uh, the permanent teeth on the top for him and then a snap in denture on the bottom so we kind of did a combination with him um, so there's his after picture and you can see he's smiling and Whoa. happy um, and you know, he's like I said, he's an easygoing guy. And I was like, hey, how do you like your new teeth? He's like, oh, I love them. He's like, you know, 
I can eat whatever I want now. I don't have to pick and choose, and he's just really happy. Um, I think he eventually wants to get the permanent ones on the bottom, too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he's, he's got the permanent on the top where he can taste his food. He's got nothing on the roof of his mouth, doesn't have to deal with a denture. He knows he's always got teeth, and he's wow. super happy. And, so. and, and there's something about a beautiful smile that really erases years off of you. I mean, Definitely. he looks so much more youthful there. Hey, yeah. handsome dude. I mean, he should be smiling all the time. Yeah. Yes. And isn't it a shame sure. because I bet you can relate to this. I think we can all relate to this. People who are uncomfortable with their smile are, are covering their mouth. Yes. They don't want to get in family pictures. Sometimes it goes so far as to where they avoid social situations, going out to restaurants, reunions, Definitely. things like that. You know, pictures, enjoying life, things right? Things like that. I know. I, actually, I had a patient come to me, um, and she was like, people kind of think I'm angry sometimes or not happy because she didn't smile. And the only reason she wasn't smiling was because of her, you know, dentures or teeth situation. And, and she's really a very nice person, but she's just yeah. self-conscious of that. And so you're right. Sometimes people come across because they're trying to hide something that nobody else knows about. Yeah, so. and to be able to express yourself, uh, mm. happiness, joy. Yes. You should be able to do that comfortably and feel good about your smile. Mm. So, 571 um, 5263. 571-5263 if you have questions about the procedure. Let's show them what Bruce had. I know okay. there's a couple of ways to accomplish yeah. this, but what, what did Bruce do? So, kind of the best thing we do for patients is the permanent teeth. And that's what he had on the top there. Um, so the permanent teeth that we do, um, so you know, imagine the pink part is your mouth with no teeth, and then these are the mini implants. And when I place these, I'm not doing any incisions or stitches, very minimally invasive, okay? You come in one morning, I, I place the implants, um, very minimally invasive, no bleeding, them, right? just get them a little numb. Um, I don't have to take you off of any of your medications, even if you're on blood thinners and things like that. Um, but then when we place those implants, like I said, this is what Bruce had, we can make a bridge of teeth and you can see, you know, this is just teeth. So you lose all the bulkiness of all the, the denture, all that plastic. And then this cements on to these implants, and it's permanent. It stays in your mouth. You cannot take that in and out. But then there's no longer anything covering the roof of your mouth. Like you said, all that plastic that is up here sometimes, you lose all of that. And this is, you know, nice and sturdy and rigid and permanent. It's like teeth. It's like, I'd say it's like your third set of teeth. Yeah, your baby <laughs> teeth, your adult teeth, and this is the closest thing to getting your natural teeth back. And as far so. as cleaning, you have you get an irrigator, uh -huh. like yep. a water we pick. We give you a water pick just to keep it clean at the margin. You brush it like you normally brush teeth and, and take care of it. So, right. so yeah, that's kind of the, that's definitely the nicest thing so, for people. So when we talk about the Freedom Mini Dental Implants, let's talk about any red flags or challenges. We know it's less expensive. We know it's a lot less invasive. That we know it takes less time. So what would be the disadvantage? That's a good question. People <laughs> always ask me that. And I'm like, you know, there is no disadvantage. And I always tell people, I know we've talked about it before, like I've put many implants on my mother-in-law, my aunt, my uncles, my family members. And that's how much I believe in them. And people, you know, opposed to the old surgical method, if I lost a tooth, I'd be getting a mini implant. You know, um, there really is no downfall to the mini implant. I personally think it's, you know, the best option out there. For There's no question. Teeth, so. All right. So if you do have any questions, I've said, if you, if you know some who has struggled, perhaps it's you, your husband, wife, whatever the case may be, struggled with dentures, perhaps they have a bridge, maybe a missing tooth, and they want to feel comfortable with their, about their smile once again, or maybe eat the foods they love, things like nuts and food with fiber and chewy steaks. Yep. And eat healthy things. again. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's good for you. So it's not only just superficial and it's not all cosmetic, it's about health. So if you have any questions, 571-5263, Dr. Reagan Ackerman, once again, from Freedom Mini Dental Implants, will take your questions after the break on Wave 3 Listens Live. The Way 3 News Storm Tracker, sponsored by Oxmoor Ford Lincoln. Built to keep you safe, driven to keep you informed. Only on Way 3 News. More local now. The biggest benefit when Kevin calls it is being prepared to take the umbrella, to take the coat. All of the technology that Wave 3 uses is local. That means you get it faster and on demand. Wave 3 is on their A game. You get up in the morning, you have terrible back pain or severe depression. Some days, just getting out of bed, getting dressed, it's the achievement for the day. You can't work, money's tight, your world implodes. You apply for disability and Social Security says no. I see this daily. 
We all rely on this system that can make bad decisions about good people. What can you do? You can call any lawyer, or you can call me, because this is all I do. Call 888-587-0228. Call now. Freedom Mini Dental Implants with Reagan Ackerman. If you have any, Dr. Reagan Ackerman, you earned Reagan that. Reagan is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have any questions, yeah, we'd love to field those. Well, you have the expertise of Dr. Ackerman. Let's go to the phones now and talk to Chandra. Chandra, welcome to Wave 3 Listens Live. Thank you for watching. Yes, uh, I've got a partial dentures right now, but I'm fixing to go in and get the rest of my teeth pulled mm -hmm. because of uh, my medication causes my teeth to rot. Yes. How long after that should I before I should come in and uh, see you all? So actually what I would recommend is coming in for a consult first before you get your teeth taken out and I'll explain that. But the consult is free too. That's something important we, we should say is that it's a free consult, x-rays included, it's free. Um, but the reason I say that is because um, before you get the teeth taken out, I want to be able to take impressions so that I can make a denture for you. So that the day you get the teeth taken out, you'll have dentures to wear and have something to wear. Um, so that's why I would recommend coming to me first before you get anything done. Um, I mean, of course, you can go have the teeth taken out, but you won't have anything to wear. Um, but I would, you know, like to make the denture and the teeth and get everything set up before you have your teeth taken out. So that's a great question. Thank you. And that's also a great answer because yeah. I think for a lot of folks, downtime is important. It's like, how long am I going to be without my teeth? How long yes. before I can walk out my door yes. and feel good yeah. about things? You know? So we always say, I mean, you're never not going to be without teeth, okay? A lot of times, though, when teeth do have to be extracted, there is about four months of healing time before we can put the implants in. But I always tell people four months is, I know it sounds like a lot, but, in, uh, you're, you know, it's a small window in a lifetime of being able to have implants and security, and, you know, it goes that fast. Um, but, yeah, but always come see me first so I can get things set up and take impressions and things like that. And like I said, the consult's free. No so charge. That's, that's after having teeth pulled. Now, for those mm -hmm. with dentures now, there is no wait time, nope, is there? No, okay. if they're already missing all their teeth, there is no you know, wait time besides us, maybe if we need to make you a new denture. So, okay. and usually we like to make a new denture because usually they come, it's an old worn denture and they don't like it anyway and it's loose and we want to make you a better denture. So right. yeah, uh, that's Dr. Ackerman, question. before we go back to the phones, if you would, we, we saw the, the procedure that was involved with Bruce, which was permanent teeth, which you know, I, I would prefer because no plastic, nothing. But for those who say, how can I make my dentures more secure? How can, how can I get rid of the glue and that kind of thing and feel comfortable with my smile and eat the foods that I love? There's another method, yes. right? Yes, definitely. So I'll show you all this model. Um, and this is what we call the snap-in denture, okay? Um, so similar concept as far as placing the implants. Place them the same way, just get you a little numb, um, no incisions, no stitches, minimal bleeding, no you know swelling, anything like that. Um, and with the snap-in denture, um, the day I put the implants in, you'll leave that same day with your denture snapped onto these implants. So then the denture snaps onto the implants, and those implants help keep the denture in. Tight. S tight. So then you no longer have to worry about using all that denture glue, going through tubes of denture glue. Um, and then you can wear this denture 24 7. You can sleep in it. You're just, you know, but you have the ability to snap it out if you need to clean it and things like that. Um, but this is a great option for denture wearers. You know, if you're struggling just keeping it in, um, you know, and still have a denture. Uh, but it's just that security and that confidence to know that your denture is going to stay in a lot, lot better. Um, and I actually had a patient recently that um, was using a ton of denture glue, um, and we did the snap-in denture. And even though that denture still covered the roof of the mouth, he was said he could still taste his food better just because he didn't have that denture glue taste in his mouth. So, right. And I thought that was really important. Yeah, so. I can't imagine having to battle that. Yes. So it is so. truly life-changing. 571-5263 as we go back to the phones and chat with Sheree. Sheree, thank you for watching and thank you for calling. Hello, Sheree. Hello. I've had a hip replacement and a knee replacement. Would it affect it in any type of way if I had the implants put in? No, not at all. That's the great thing about these mini implants is they are very minimally invasive. Um, so like I said, we don't have to take people off of any medications, blood thinners, anything like that. Um, and they've actually changed the rules with the American Dental Association on um, knee replacements and hip replacements. You used to have to take an antibiotic beforehand, but now you don't even have to do that as long as you had no complications with your surgery or anything. Um, so that certainly would not affect anything that I do. So that's a great, great question. Thank you. Five seven one five two six three. Thank you for calling, Sheree. So I know we're going to receive this question, so I'll go ahead and get in front of it a little bit. Yeah. A lot of 
people have been told before. You don't have enough bone. Mm -hmm. your, your teeth have decayed to the point or maybe you've wore dentures so long that you don't have enough bone remaining. Right. For you, that's, that's more good news. You don't need much. I don't need much. Um, actually, I'll show this model real quick because this kind of explains it all right there. Um, but yeah, I don't have to have as much bone as uh, with the surgical implants. Um, I don't even know if you can see it. It's so small. So the big hole that is for the surgical implants. Kind so they of need the a lot of hole. bone. They need a lot of bone. This small hole, that's the hole that I make um, when I'm placing a mini implant. So you can see that I do not have to have as much bone. Um, so I can place mini implants on a lot of people that were told they were not a candidate for the old implants, surgical implants. Um, so that's a great point. And also a lot of people have been told they had periodontal disease, like you said, or bone, they lost their teeth because of bone loss. Um, but plenty of times, majority of the time, there's still mm -hmm. plenty of bone for me to place the mini implants and do what I do. So yeah, that's a great question. So, so and if you see that, that what you just showed that this uh, model if you see yeah. the model you're thinking okay is it as strong as the old way and yes it is because these are like titanium rods right they're titanium and have a special coating on them um, kind of calcium phosphate where the bone kind of grows to them and adheres and things like that so yeah mm. when we, we see folks like Bruce okay and you mentioned the fact that you know one of his teeth and we saw how much more youthful he looked and able to enjoy life again for you as a doctor, and I ask you this often because I would think this has got to, it must be rewarding because you're really changing people's lives. I mean, I, I've, uh. I've seen people who are hesitant to get in family photos or reluctant to go out to dinner with people because of their dentures. Right. So when you change their life like that, yeah. And yeah, it's you see, I'll see you smile. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, just because, like I said, the patient this morning, she left and hugs and all smiles and just couldn't get wait, you know, wait to show people and use them and, and things like that. And it is rewarding. Like you said, I know we talked about it before, I never got a hug for a root canal, <laughs> but I get hugs for, you know, just, it, it's life changing. It really is to give somebody that confidence and to give them the freedom, which is kind of why we call it freedom, yeah. many, that freedom to smile, the freedom to go out and eat what you want to eat, the freedom to go to family functions, and just not be self-conscious about your smile and your teeth. So. And, and I realize, Dr. Ackerman, there is that segment out there who says, you know, I'm not so worried about the super Official or the cosmetic look, but I would like to eat well again. Definitely. And yeah. and we talk about the nutrients that are involved in things like you know fibrous foods, you know crunchy salads, apples. Yes. Um, we talked about steak and the iron that is involved with steak. Uh -huh. So there is something to be said for that as well. Oh, for sure. I mean a lot of the foods Overall that you. Health. Yeah. Yeah. I mean like you said, carrots, fruits and vegetables. Um, I've had patients come in because they're on a diet of just sugary foods because they can't mm. eat what they want to eat, and then they're able to eat salads again and. Um, one patient was peanuts. You know, every patient has their one thing that they miss eating. It's I've heard pretzels and peanuts and salads and things like that. And those, like you said, it's overall health. Um, and I know the other thing we say is when patients come back, sometimes they're 10 pounds heavier because they're <laughs> able to eat again. You know, and they're not having to pick and choose. Yeah, so. that's not not such a bad thing no, if you're picking up weight because not. you're enjoying that's life. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, five seven one five two six three. If you'd like to give us a call, any questions that you have for Dr. Mm -hmm. Ackerman and Freedom Mini Dental Implants, as she said before, the consultation is absolutely free. Give them a call today. Meet you on the other side. We are Wave Three Listens, mm -hmm. and we're live. We're getting you road trip ready. Tim Jones back for Toyota of Louisville right now. Totally reinvented Camry. Get a 36-month lease with a payment of only $219 a month. Dixie Highway, Toyota of Louisville, a swoop dealership where nobody walks away. Hurt in a car? Call Sam Aguiar. If you've been injured and people around you are telling you to get a lawyer, you should listen. Family, your doctor. They don't want you to be taken advantage of, and they're giving you some good advice, so take it. I'm Sam Aguiar. I've seen what can happen to people without a lawyer, and I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Hurt in a car? Call Sam Aguiar, 888-8888. Get road trip ready. I'm Tim Jones, back for Toyota of Louisville. Let's talk about a Toyota RAV4. If you finance through Toyota Finance, get $1,000 TFS cash. Hurry. Great selection. Toyota of Louisville, a swoop dealership where nobody walks away. 
If you have a question, you know the number 5715263. Freedom Mini Dental Implants, and if you haven't heard about them, it is a lot like, you know, before, you know, when you had to have, uh, let's say, an, uh, you had an appendicitis and you had an appendectomy and they had to go in and cut and all that kind of thing, and now they do lasers and it's very simple and the downtime is very minimal. It's similar very to that. Similar. Yeah. Yes, very uh, similar. Let's, uh, let's grab another phone call and talk to Kelly. Kelly, welcome into Wave 3 Listens. Hello. Hello, Kelly. You got a question? Hi. Hi, hi, Dr. Reagan. Hi. Hi, my name is Kelly, and I would, I ha, actually, I could talk to you all day with questions, <laughs> but I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. Okay. Um, I have none of my, my own original teeth um, due to, I, I was an orthodontic nightmare as a child, and then uh, due to a medical condition, plus taking Dilantin, we think, caused um, premature tooth loss. Okay. And of course, each one of these teeth, every tooth had a root canal before I lost it. So, okay. but at any rate, I have on the top now. I have a full. Um, they stay in. Okay. The dentist has a little tool that he has to use to take them out and clean them. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. On the bottom, on the left side. I have, I think, three or four implants and a, a bridge. Okay. Okay, and then I have, like I said, I have none of my own teeth. They're all gone. Then on, I, I call it your eye tooth. You know, on the right side, the pointed tooth. Uh-huh. Okay, I have an implant there. Okay. It has a crown on it. Okay, in between, those are, that's all I have on the bottom. I have a partial that goes and that's, okay. it covers so for Are you the trying to get rid of your partial, Kelly? Front. Do you want to get rid of that partial? I hate that partial. Okay. Oh, you knew it. I knew what you were trying to get to. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, we can, and maybe we can show that model later, too, because, um, you know, if you already have implants that are good and stable, but you're missing teeth in between, we can still place the mini implants where, you know, where that partial replaces those teeth. So we can get rid of that partial using the mini dental implants. Um, and once again, I definitely invite you to come for a consult because I know it sounds like you got kind of, you've had a lot of work done and everything. So please come into the office so I can see you in person and know exactly what your situation is. But I think what you're wanting to do is get rid of that partial, which I don't blame you. Um, so, and I think that probably can be done because we could work around other bridges and implants and things like that for sure so so come in and let me take a look and see exactly what your situation is but I hope that answers your question uh oh yeah. and, and thank you so much for the call thank Again, you free consultation yes. that would probably be wise there yes. uh, Mary joins us now Mary welcome into wave 3 listens live hello how are you hi good I have a question um, my uh, I'm on Coumadin mm -hmm. for I mean for my life the whole time I've got a Right. Oil fish or bath and stuff. Okay. Well, I still have to take antibiotics during the procedure. So, um, you won't have to go off the Coumadin or anything, but it sounded like you said you may have an artificial heart valve. Um, and yes. if, if that's the case, then the only, you just have to take an antibiotic one hour before the procedure. So you'll just take um, an antibiotic one hour before the procedure and that's it. You know, it's not antibiotics like during the procedure, obviously no IV or anything like that. You're going to take maybe two or three pills of antibiotic like an hour before the procedure's done and that's it and that's just to protect your artificial heart valve from any bacteria um, in your mouth and things like that and like I said we're doing that for the protection of your heart and you know your heart surgeon's going to want me to do that so so yeah that, that's a good question so but I don't have to take you off the Coumadin or the blood thinner or anything like that for this procedure mm. so Thank you for the call, yeah, Mary. Okay, we were talking about partials or maybe a single tooth. Yes. So if you could show us the model and how that works. Yeah. So as we were mentioning, we can do this um, if you're missing one tooth or say, you know, as this model shows, you're maybe just missing two or three teeth. Um, I think that's what she was alluding to mm -hmm. earlier. You know, she had some other teeth she'd had replaced with implants, but maybe she had a partial to replace like a gap like this. Um, so same thing going to place the implants the exact same way, um, no incisions or stitches, you know, numb you up, 
and then um, the day I put the implants in, you know, you'll leave with the temporary that day. So you get rid of the partial that day, okay? Um, and then it takes about four weeks to get the permanent teeth back, and then the permanent teeth cement on to those implants. And then, you know, it's just like having your natural teeth back. There's no partial, there's nothing covering the roof of your mouth, nothing you have to take in and out. They are cemented in there permanently. And then this also shows you, you know, just for a single tooth, we can do it as well. If you're just missing one tooth, um, we'll place the implant, you know, leave with the temporary that day, get rid of that flipper that day or that partial, mm -hmm. um, and then we are able to cement a permanent tooth on top of that mini implant. So. so although we put the emphasis on, on dentures, um, sometimes it may be a case where you had a, a maybe an, a sport, a sport related Certainly. injury, lost a tooth, you want to take care of that, mm -hmm. maybe a car accident, whatever the case may be, right. you get those as well. Yes, right? yeah, and that actually brings up a good point. Um, all ages, I mean, we've done them on 18 year olds, you know, up to 90 year olds, so it, you know, because like you said, 18 year olds get that baseball to the mouth right, or baseball sure. bat or whatever and you know nobody wants to be wearing a flipper in high school or college you no. know and get them out of that <laughs> you know I guess it's a fun party trick but nobody <laughs> wants that um, so yeah so we we help people you're missing one tooth multiple teeth all your teeth you know help everybody all so right. yeah that's why I love this show because when you get information like this can save you money less invasive less pain all of the above it's really good uh, then you need to know about freedom mentally men <laughs> freedom <laughs> Mini dental implants. There, I got it out there. And the consultation is absolutely free, so visit Dr. Reagan Ackerman at her office. All right, we'll take a quick break and then we'll tie a bow on this show. Thank you for joining us today on Wave 3 Listens Live. Has your loved one been abused in a nursing home? Bed sores, broken bones, dehydration, and malnutrition are all signs of abuse. Call Hughes and Coleman, 800 800 4600. Life's too short to not live enough. Live up to it. Live it up. The Kentucky Derby Festival Great Bed Races. Monday, April 29th at Broadbent Arena. Free admission for spectators with a 2019 Pegasus Pet. Just $6 at retailers at 7 at Events. Local morning news now from the Sunrise Team with the Wave 3 News app. Casual Living Brands is having their annual outdoor furniture warehouse sale that happens Friday, April 26th through Sunday the 28th. All three days there. It's in Simpsonville. Bring your truck. We're talking huge savings. They do it every year. It will be packed. Try to get there early. First come, first serve. And we are giving away a Lazy Boy Outdoor Sawyer six-piece seating set. And some of the uh, add-ons here, we got weather-resistant wicker. We've got a coffee table. we got sunbrella fabric. We've got power-coated rust-resistant steel frame. Uh, love seat, two lounge chairs, two ottomans, coffee table, four pillows. If you'd like to qualify to win it, we're going to give away Tuesday. Uh, be one of the first five callers, 888-800-9283. I want to thank Dr. Reagan mm -hmm. Ackerman for coming on the show with me today. Thank you. Thank you. And give them a call. Free consultation. Yes. Freedom Mini Dental Implants. Mm -hmm. We'll see you tomorrow on Wave 3 Listens Live. We're getting you right.